guys, it's Joritza, and I have a haul to share with you today. I stopped at Joanne's, and they had some other laces and trims on clearance, and I picked up quite a few of them. They had this hemp on clearance for $0.10 cents a yard, and this pretty lace, and already has the gems attached to it, and it's $0.97 cents a yard. And then this pearl trim was $0.50 cents a yard. And then they had this metallic type lace, and this was $0.50. Cents. And this one was $0.97 cents a yard. This was $0.97 cents also. This pink trim was $0.50. Cents. This ribbon was $0.50. Cents. And the sequence trim was a quarter. And I've been eyeing this new tool by Imagines called the iRock. And I was walking around Joanne's and I stumbled upon the Tulip brand. It's pretty much the same design and everything in pink. And then they also had the Joe Lee's version of it, except it was blue. And I think it was only a dollar cheaper, but I really wanted the pink one, so I went ahead and invested in this one. And then they had the iron on crystals. Um from the Tulip brand, and they also had the Jolie Swarovski crystals that were iron-ons. The Swarovski crystals were pretty expensive. You only got 20 for $5. Um, and here you get $300, 300 of them for $14. And I was able to use a coupon on both of these, so I thought these were much a better deal. And this is a cordless crystalline stud heat setting tool. And then these gems have adhesive in the back that, that are activated by heat. So oh, you get 300 to a pack, and what I did is I combined some of them into slots, and that opened up room from some of the other ones that I picked up. And I picked up another brand by Iron on Art, and I was playing around with it, and it worked. And I only got it on, on clearance for 97 cents. And this whole sheet was full of tiny little black gems, but um, I already put them in here. And then the studs are slightly different from the gems; they're not flat in the back. They're kind of domed. And, uh, I, don't, I don't know if you're going to be able to pick that up, but... Ah. See, they're, they're, they're not flat. They're domed. And at first I thought it wasn't going to work on paper, but it actually worked really well. So let me show you real quick how this works. I already have three set up. Here I have one of the studs, and then I have a gem by Tulip, and then I have the little black gem from the other brand just to show you how well it works. I think if it says iron on, you'll be able to use it with this tool. So first you need to put three AA batteries on the bottom and it doesn't come with the tool. And then you have the on and off switch, so you switch it to the on position and that's when this pink button will work and it lights up. And that means that the tip is heating up. And you gotta hold it for a few seconds. Let's say about 15 seconds until it's fully warm because it, it's already hot. You're going to hold it on there, and then you have to hold the tip of the tool to the gem for at least 15 seconds. And I actually held it on longer than I was supposed to, and the, and the um, glue started seeping off the sides. So you're just going to hold it on. So here I have a gem by Tulip. Hold it on for 15 seconds. Okay, now I'm going to move on to the other brand. And then to the domes. I hear they're called studs, but I call them the domes. I'm going to hold that on for 15 seconds as well. And this one I'm going to move it back and forth just because... It's much bigger than the gems, and I want to make sure that I get even coverage. You're going to let it cool first. As you can see, they're already attached. See? 
Isn't that cool? And it worked really well. And the back of, of the paper is still good. And it's already cooled. All right, so this is my new discovery for today, and I'm so excited. And I actually think I held it on the black one a little too long. I don't know if you can see, but some of the glue seeped up the side. So this one might only need about 10 seconds or so, but the other ones made by Tulip, definitely 15 seconds, and they're perfect. All right, so I hope I don't enable some of you guys too much, but this is a really cool tool, and I can see myself using this a lot. So I really like it. If you guys have any questions, let me know. Thanks for stopping by.